couple more people to tune in and doing a camera check. And then we'll start saying hi to everybody. Hello. This is my song, So High. What do you guys think of the song? Awesome. Really good stuff. <laughs> And my featured guest today is the very talented JT, aka John Thomas from JT Talent Enterprises. Welcome to the show, JT. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. I really appreciate it. I am, I can't tell you how excited I am. And a lot of these people that you see on me doing live streaming, I never do this, but I'm doing this for you. Oh, well, you are awesome. thank you so much for being here. I am so happy that you're here today on my show because JT, guys, if JT Town, if you haven't heard of him, he has been in the entertainment industry working as a casting director, producer, and talent manager for how many years now? Over 17 years. Over 17 years. In fact, about, I don't know, over 10, maybe even 15 years ago, JT actually gave me my first ever job in the entertainment industry. It was a fashion show. Um, and so, yes, thank you for giving me my first job in the industry. Are you the best? And, uh, oh, that's so sweet. And um, I really, I just can't even get over how, how cool that was to do my first ever fashion show and to have you to thank you for that and for to have that be so long ago and to trigger so many other things in my career since then. It's just, um, it, it's, it's just a really amazing memory. So thank you for well, that. It goes both ways. I've met a lot of great people through you. Not to mention, you know, your music, you know, as far as you had your dance company and all this other great stuff that you've been doing. And uh, the mod, to mention the modeling and the acting and all that and the friendship and the support. I remember the last time I saw you at your birthday at Attic. That's right, that's right. It was my big bash. No, but um that was awesome. so those of you that are just tuning in, again, this is Tools for Talent Live on TFT TV. I'm your host Cheryl Martinez, and my featured guest today is John Thomas from JT Talent Enterprises. So JT has been working as a casting director and talent manager and producer in the industry for so many years. Yes. Um, you guys should look him up on IMDB. I have his IMDB page here real quick that I'll show you um, to all you guys that are tuned in on YouTube Live. You can see um, in his filmography credits, <laughs> it says there's over 48 credits of all the projects that you have casted talent for. So when it comes to the film industry, yeah. I'd say that's your forte, right? You know, right now, you know, I started out as a talent manager 17 years ago uh, when I first met you. And the thing is that I love doing it and being a talent manager is great. And I still do the same thing. Mm -hmm. The only difference is about a couple of years ago, I realized that casting and producing is my main thing. I mean, and, and I've been focusing a lot more on that. And it's been great. I mean, I've been, you know, I've done over 200 films, TV shows, and that. And uh, if you look on IMDb, there's about 100 altogether. There's 48 split up with another 38 and so on. Some is casting director, some is casting associate, some casting department, some producers. But I love what I do. I mean, helping people is, is what I live for. I am fortunate enough and blessed to have so many good people in my life and so many people that have been working uh, so hard to support me as well as myself supporting them, including yourself. So my first question for you is how did you get started wow. in the entertainment <laughs> industry, specifically the film industry? All right, well, you know what? It's been a long time. So this is really how I started my company. When I grew up in Brooklyn, I used to run a lot of nightclubs. And one of the nightclubs, you know, that I was a you know, Paul Antonelli, who you know, right now he's in the hospital, I hope he gets better, and uh, a couple of other friends, we used to run these nightclubs and I used to work on the Paul. 
So one day I met somebody and what they did was, they said, hey, listen, they said, uh, why don't you come down to Manhattan? We're gonna be doing this show called The Sopranos. Ah, The Sopranos. You guys all remember The Sopranos, right? It's only a script and you can meet some directors and producers. And it wasn't even real. The guy made everything up. And when I went down there, you know, apparently it was just a, it, it wasn't real. It was basically a fabrication. And they said, hey, you know what? You know, uh, we just wanted you really to come here and they, and, and you know, whatever. I said, yeah, all right, no problem. They said, there's a lot of big important people here. And this was almost 17 years ago. Mm -hmm. And it was that club for Luca, which now is under new owners. And when I went there, what happened was they said there's a big modeling agency that everyone's gonna meet. And I was excited because I was thinking about starting one. And it turned out I was the one they were talking about. Aww. And I knew nothing, but I knew nothing about the business. What a cute surprise. Well, the, yeah, and the surprise was that I knew nothing about the business. They used me as like an escape goat to try to get people. And, it, and when I found out what happened, I was, I was really upset. I'm like, why would you do something like this? And then I ran into Courtney, who was like my sister. You met her. Mm -hmm. And I, I just said, this girl is amazing. My heart went out. I said, she is the most beautiful, talented person I've ever met. And I felt a very strong bond and connection towards her. And what I said was, you know what? I was like, this girl is incredible. Tell them what Courtney you're talking about. Courtney Turner, by the way. Okay. Who's like my sister. She's in LA, produces. She's actually doing a lot of big stuff right now. And um, the thing about it is that when I actually got there, you know, to think I talked to her so many times and I ended up going back to Brooklyn and I sat down at this place, uh, which was the old pastels and I was with uh, the owner, God rest his soul, and my buddy Al Bacci Jr. And um, we wanted to, you know, do some stuff, you know, with the club and then apparently I invited Courtney to come down and it turned out amazing. We built this bond and this friendship and she, and I talked about it. And she said, you start your own modeling. Start your own casting business. I mean, So uh, she was your inspiration she to was start your own company. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be. And there. it's been all uphill from there. Now, how many people are part of JT Talent Enterprises right now, if you had to guesstimate that number? Well, I mean, if we're going to talk about, you know, clients, manager, you know, friends, agents, well, that, thousands. But if we're going to talk about clients, I have about 24. Mm-hmm. In managing wise, I really got rid of it. I, you know, I'm just taking it very slow, doing my thing and whatever. But when it comes down to casting and producing, I'm working with so many great people, and things are just going amazing. So, when it comes to picking who your clients are going to be, okay. what would you say are the key things that you look for? Um, and so, if there were, you know, someone who wanted to become one of your clients, what, you know, what would they need? We're to talking do? on managing. Yes. Okay. Well, on managing, we have a separate division. And on managing, one of the things that, that I've learned is that, you know, one, it's important to have a headshot. Mm -hmm. I mean, you need to have a decent headshot. Professionally Not, taken. Professionally headshots. taken. Mm -hmm. I don't care if your friend does it in the corner, but it's got to be professional and it's got to be 300 DPI. The second thing is with dots per inch. The second thing is a resume. Now, if you don't have a lot of on the resume and you're honest with me and say, hey, look, I really haven't done much, don't expect a lead role or don't expect, you know, you're going to go like to, the, you know, like get a lot of big stuff, but start small and you'll be fine. That's not a big deal. Yeah. You know, so I just, I look for honesty, professionalism, and a look helps, but there's all types that you can, you know, I book for acting and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, you know. You just gotta just just be straight and just tell me. Hey, look, yeah. I have, you know I have somebody came to my office and on their resume they had a film that they were the lead in. It was one of my movies. I wow. Know they, I know they weren't the lead. <laughs> the movie wasn't even oh, done. Oh, so you could tell that they were, that it wasn't true. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You know I bet people lie on their resumes all the time when it comes to the entertainment industry. Yeah. It just so happened that <laughs> it was my name on. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. That's so crazy. What yeah, a story. It was a while ago, but you know what happens. Okay. All right. So let's take a second to check who's here and say hi to all the viewers. So you can see who's uh, tuning in on this side. I'll look on this side. Oh, my brother's watching. Hey, MJ. What's going on? Juan Luis Murillo, hey. all the way from Spain, is tuned in. Hey, Tay Brown. Hey, David Asher. Hey, Manny Trejo. What's going on, guys? Aaron Husk. 
How are you? Melissa, hi. And over here, we have the moon blue. Thanks for the hearts. And foundation, also thanks for the hearts, guys. Wow, look at this. Appreciate all the hearts and all the love. Thanks for becoming a fan, Tony Fingers. Hi, guys. Welcome. Welcome to Tools for Talent Live on TFT TV. How's everybody doing? Good to see you all. I got my whole crew. My God. Here we got <laughs> Luna. Hey, what's going on? Luna Bamboo. How you been? Okay, guys. So for those of you guys that are just tuning in, you are watching Tools for Talent Live on yes. TFT TV. I'm your host, Cheryl Martinez, and my fabulous featured guest for today is John Thomas of JT Talent Enterprises. So just to give you a quick rundown of what the show is about and what we do here, so Tools for Talent Live is, um, is a subdivision of Tools for Talent, the corporation. Um, so toolsfortalent.com, you can go to the website, we are talent management marketing firm and tools for talent the show is basically um, a way for us to give back we provide all of the tools needed to help talent succeed so every week I'll feature a different guest um, someone who's an industry veteran like JT that can provide inspiration and advice and tips for aspiring entertainers and actors or um, a celebrity talent as well that wants to share their story um, so if any of you guys out there think that you have some amazing tools for our talents, you can go to toolsfortalent.com slash TV where you can sign up to be a featured guest on our next show. We're always looking for new amazing um, celebrity veterans and, uh, uh, and, and industry guests that can, um, that can be featured on the show. So again, welcome JT. Thank you for being here. I'm so um, excited to see you. It's been so long. <laughs> I, it's been too long. We both got so busy that in, in the beginning of the industry, we saw each other all, all the time. Yes. You know, when I first started Absolutely. breaking into the industry, when he, um, he was sending me uh, contacts and networking events and, uh, um, and all different types of offers as far as fashion shows and, 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 uh, and film roles. And, um, and, and he, JT has been there since the beginning of my career. And that's why I really felt like he was the perfect person to invite on the show today to interview because he's known me since day one of my career in this industry. He's been working in the industry so long. Yes. He's really built a name for himself. If you guys check out his IMDb page, like I was saying before, he has tons and tons and tons of credits in the film industry where he has casted talent for these films. So if you guys have any questions for JT, any advice that you want to know, um, definitely now's the time to ask him while he's here live. Um, hey, omnipotent being on. Oh, that's so sweet. We just said you're the most inspiring person that you've ever met. I really, really appreciate that. Hey, most trash. What's going on? Thanks for tuning in, guys. We appreciate all the love and feedback. Yeah, absolutely. We are this is great. here to help. So, um, so, so let's see what's going on. We got Joseph Bennett says nice work, JC. Well, let, me, let me tell you about Joseph Bennett. Joseph Bennett is the magazine owner. He's my partner. He's the one you just submitted. Oh, that's You're gonna right. You're going to be in the magazine. That's right. So, uh, I actually have a clip from the magazine right here. I'm going right. to pull, I'm going to pull it up. Look it's called this. Talent Raiders, guys. So, if you go to talentraiders.com/magazine, right? right? You can see um, this magazine that JT is now a part of. You why don't you want to tell them real quick what's What's going on with this magazine? Well, basically what happened was I was fortunate enough to meet this wonderful guy named Joe Bennett. At hey, a, Joe Bennett. <laughs> at a fashion event and uh, that I sponsored uh, along with my event partner, Ryan Shemin, which we'll get to a little bit from Success with Teamwork. Mm -hmm. who, um, you know, we do a lot of events, which I pretty much gave him my event business to handle. But um, Joe was telling me about his magazine. It's online. He had it for a little over a year, the whole thing. He had a couple of issues. So I was very fascinated. I've worked with other magazines before, and you know I still work with one here and there. And I just was like, wow, oh my God, you know this magazine's really good. Mm -hmm. So I, I said, you know what, Joe? What I can do is I can do these things for you. I got a lot of great talent, great people for the article. And he says, well, you know, send me a few. Let's take a look at it. And then we talked on the phone, and I ended up sending a lot of people, and we agreed. You know what? Let's be partners. He already made my business cards. He oh, already, wow. He already took care of everything. And uh, as far as that, we've got a lot of articles written. We just got one with, remember Daniel Sanchez? No, I don't. I think you've, well, you've met her a while back. We did her article, Sonia Curtis, and a whole bunch of other ones that are coming up. 
and it's just getting bigger and better and stronger. So yeah. I'm very excited to work with him. Yeah, and it looks like I'm going to be featured in the magazine next. So thank you so much for that, for that I'm referral. Talk about you. Um, and if, if anyone else wants to be in the magazine, tell them what you're looking for and how, how they oh, can yeah. submit. Well, if anyone else really wants to be in the magazine, and I've already put up posts and I didn't even do a lot of press about it. And I know a lot of, a lot of my clients and friends all like shocked me doing Facebook Live. This is the second time I've ever done it. So uh, mm -hmm. I know that's why I see like people haven't <laughs> spoken in like 10 years. But anyway, um, the thing is that uh, you just email me, jttalententerpriseLLC at gmail.com. And I'll forward everything over to Joe, and we are going to have an awesome time. The magazine also has videos. So if you want, like, but we do an, an article on you, mm -hmm. you can actually submit a video, and we'll put the video on there. Nice. So, which I should put this video on there. <laughs> but, but, you know, the thing is that, you know, before I get into me, I want to talk about you. Is that okay? I, I'm interviewing you, but sure. <laughs> All right. I want everyone to know that. I met this girl when she was very young, and she had so much energy, so beautiful, looks exactly the same. <laughs> and we have a friend named Danielle from Dijani Fashion. Hi, Danielle. I think you're on there. And um, uh, you know, she's uh, her family's like with Jim Jones and all that. And uh, she was doing a fashion event, and I went there because it's right next door to my hotel, 34th and 8th, you know, the New Yorker, and I went to see a show, and I was amazed, and it was great. She had such beautiful outfits, so many great people, and this young lady was in the show. And I was with Courtney, and we both met her, and I'm just starting out in the business pretty much, and we had a meeting, and I started managing and working with her for a little while, and then she branched out on her own like a rocket in like three years, and we've always stayed friends, and she's so successful right now, and you know, that's what, what it's all about. When you asked me before, it's about just giving back. And the thing is, you're amazing. Aww. And you work so hard, so I know that. Time. You're so sweet, you're gonna make me cry right listen, now. Man, listen, it's all about energy, it's all about love, and it's all about respect. You know what I mean? Like this guy Joe, I don't know him from the hole in the wall, but when I met him, I felt that energy. He wanted to make something with this magazine, yeah. and he just said, here. Run with it, do whatever you think is right. Mm -hmm. And now I'm doing a lot of stuff for it. And I already got writers. We got member Nick Christopher from Mob Candy Magazine. We got him. Oh, that's right. Hey, Craig that's Divinovitz, right. who actually have my, my premiere for uh, Father Holiday tonight. But I'm, obviously this is more important, mm -hmm. which they already know because I've seen the movie before and I have somebody doing my Q&A over there. And um, you know, my event later, which uh, Ed, uh, if you remember Ed Shiani, I bought him your birthday. He's actually covering the event for me and Ryan because uh, Ryan's on his way there to success with Teamworks. Mm -hmm. But you know, the thing is that this business, a lot of people get confused about. It's not about can I get a lead role or can I be a celebrity? It's about supporting everyone. Mm -hmm. If someone's in a play, you go to see them, you never know who you're gonna meet and you're making that person happy. I know one person that I went to go see a play and this person had eight people in the audience. Eight people that were in the audience at the producers club, and this is about two years ago, and it was one of my clients, and no one showed up except for seven people and me, and wow. two of the people were staff, wow. and they refused to go on. They wouldn't go on the show, and I said, "Listen, it's a small play. I'm going to sit here and watch it. The rest of these people, you know, I didn't say in front of them, but, and I convinced that person to go on." Aww. And it turned out that that person, I, I, you know, I'm not going to mention the name, but I still speak to them, you know, a lot. And they said that I was an inspiration for them just because I made them go on. And now that same person is on Broadway. Wow. I Look don't at that. See? Yeah, I mean, and that's because they, they did it for the love of it and not for, you know, the, the, the publicity. Right. Right? And then when you do it for you first, then the good stuff will follow. Right. But speaking of inspiration, not only were you so inspiring to that person, which was such an amazing story, by the way, awesome. you are an inspiration to yourself and to so many people out there. Why don't you tell them what you went through personally? Absolutely. Okay. So I have a friend of mine that called me up about doing a big motion picture. Uh, it was about three years ago. And it was close to um, uh, the Oscars, the Oscar night. 
And uh, a friend of mine called me up and he says, I want you to cast this new movie. This lady has a book. It's, uh, it's, about, the, it's about the mob, and, uh, but the old school mob, like 1940s, 1950s, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And I said, oh, great. The next day, Brian Whitson, who's a good friend of mine, one of my clients, he uh, wanted to take me out to eat. He was in the area, so I said, okay. And when I woke up, my face was crooked. And my lips, um, it was like really like, like twisted. So I figured maybe I just overslept. I didn't realize I was exhausted anyway. I went downstairs and I'm at uh, Tic Tac Diner, which is my favorite diner. Mm -hmm. yeah, shout out to George from Tic Tac Diner. Love you, buddy. That's why I always see him every night. Um, and my buddy Teddy owns it. And all of a sudden, Brian goes, what's wrong with your face? And I said, I feel fine. And he goes, no, no, no. What's wrong with your face? You're crooked. So I took a picture, I sent it to my sister. And Courtney goes, go to the hospital, you're having a stroke. Oh my God. I walked to the hospital, which was on 14th Street at Lenox Hill. My blood pressure was 235 and climbing. Wow. And they basically said that there's a lot going on with me and there's a situation that's happening where what's going on is apparently my white blood cells weren't regenerating and the whole thing. And that's why the left side of my body was shutting down. And I was supposed to sponsor a charity in Connecticut and um, I wanted to get out of there as soon as possible because I felt really bad. And what happened was, I felt like everything is fine, but I looked not good. Mm -hmm. Then 14th Street basically told me, listen, I'm sorry, you cannot, uh, we can't take care of you here. You need to go to 77th Street. So I went to 77th Street and they put me on the, you know, the gurney and everything, whatever. I'm going outside and when I'm outside by the ambulance, they had me strapped and I was fine. People were getting out of the school that was right over there, and they thought this was one of my movies. And they started crowding around, <gasps> thinking it was like a publicity stunt oh or one of my films. God. And they started taking pictures. Oh my god! So, and I and I'm and it's you know the, I talked to the ambulance guys. I had no idea what's going on. Anyway, to make a long story short, I ended up being in there in three days. I had lots of lots of visitors. One in particular, which I got to mention, is Heidi Mansour who's a very good friend of mine, and uh, she's a beautiful actress, really talented person, stayed with me every single day, Aww. convinced the doctors and the nurses that I was okay to leave, and even after I, I got out of the hospital, she got me food or whatever. The third day, the doctors told me, look, I don't think you're gonna recover as quick as you think, or if you're gonna recover. Your face is crooked. Your left side of your body is shut down. It's rejuvenated, you know, you're getting better. Mm -hmm. But it looks like there may be an issue. You needed to calm down and right. take, some, take a break. And they told me I should just retire, stay away from you know people for a while. And I did for a couple of months. And I signed myself out, even though the doctor said, no, I did it against them. And I should have, but I did it anyway. Eventually what happened was I do a lot of energy healing and a lot of meditation. And I realized that if I could just concentrate on my left side of my body and rejuvenate, I could be so much better. And when I went down for my doctor's appointment, they couldn't understand how my blood pressure dropped. I was fine. They noticed that my whole side of my face was almost completely healed. And it took about a year to get really get back into shape. But now I'm in great health, everything's good. I even stopped drinking for a while. Now I drink here and there, nothing major. But the thing is that, you know, I know God obviously had something to do with it. And I, there's just so many people that were there to support me. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you know, I thank every one of them every day for being there for me. And, you know, but I'm, I'm fine now. Everything is great, you know, and uh, it's just amazing. Well, congratulations <laughs> for you. overcoming that and for overcoming it in a positive way and for being so inspiring to so many people out there who have maybe also suffered a, a stroke or, or, oh, yeah. or something similar and to know that you can come out fine and better and even better for it um, by positive mental healing as well, right? Mm -hmm. But um, but yeah, that must have been a crazy experience in oh, your yeah. life, especially, you know, for it, it. did you have any warning signs that that was coming? Like, or was it really just one day you woke up and- Slow breathing. Okay. Slow, you know, trouble breathing mm -hmm. and slurring the words. Mm -hmm. and, and that was how, how much prior? That was basically before, but I, I didn't even realize the signs. It happened once in a blue moon. Okay. And that was it. Yeah. But 
I learned a lot, and I actually spoke to stroke victims. You know, I mean, some of them, you know, it was very hard for them to talk when I was in the hospital. Mm -hmm. And you know, what I've learned a lot, you know, through the years of doing all this, yeah. the loyalist people are the ones that actually, you know, have been there for you. I mean, they, they care about you. You know, they want to know how you feel. I mean, look, I, there's people I haven't spoken to in 10 years. But meanwhile, they'll send me a message to see I'm okay. You know, stuff like that. And it's also the way they speak about you. You know, I mean, I've got people that will, will do everything from nasty write-ups to uh, say bad things. But then when they're in the room with me, they're my best friend. Hmm. And I will never sit there and badmouth them. I'll just let them say whatever they want because nothing will stop my success. Yeah. And the reason why it won't stop my success is because I got too many people behind me and I care too much about people. And you know, like, in, in fact, um, I just became a member of the New York Emmys. Oh, congratulations. Thanks to one more, re thank you, welcome. I mean, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> See, you got me on everything. But uh, Maurice uh, Kasner, who owns Cinema World Studios, very dear friend of mine, love him to death. And I work with his son and uh, his nephew, which, uh, you know, Corey and Nikki. And um, one day he called me up and he says, I'm gonna make you a member of the New York Emmys. I spoke at the New York Emmys. And uh, it was great. I went to my first event. He rented a limo and everything. It was amazing. Nice. But yeah, there, there's so many you know, great things and great projects. But what you were asking me before, casting is like my main thing right now. I love doing it. Casting and producing, making my own. Started a production company. Love doing that stuff. Yeah, and you know, and thinking about what you were saying about you know staying humble in the yeah, industry and everything, like you've de definitely been number the one of the number one people that I've seen stay humble and stay the same throughout all of the years of being in the industry. No matter how many films you cast right, for, or or no matter how large your database gets, and um, no matter how big of celebrities you work with, you still have always been the same, giving, caring, beautifully sympathetic and sweet human being that I have met since the day one that first job that you gave me I I even know um, people have even spoken I've seen reviews for you online where people were saying um, how um, you let's say let's say they they had a low budget project right and um, normal casting directors would say, oh, well, I'm not gonna waste my time on that low budget right. I, I, I can't, I can't. You would even, you know, cut your fee or not take a fee at all right. because you want to help somebody get amazing talent for their pride because you know you can help them, right? right. And that's what separates casting directors like you versus, you know, the, the, the stereotypical casting directors right. is where you're actually going to help people and help cast the best talent for the project, no matter what budget range there is. Correct. If you can help them, you're going to help them. Oh yeah, exactly. You know, I mean... And that's what I love about you. No. That's what I love about well, you. Well, you know, actually, you know, that you brought that up, very interesting. There's a few people that I'll bring up about. Uh, first of all, I want to tell you, I don't know if you remember back in the day, there was a guy named Sammy DeFury. Big Italian guy? Anyway. I'm so bad with names. It's all right. But I do remember like all the Sopranos people you introduced you, me to way back when. You had met Sammy. Uh, anyway, Sammy is one of my loyal and dearest friends. Mm -hmm. And what happened was, Sammy has got, you know, a lot of different projects, you know, that he's getting right now. But in the beginning, he worked very hard. And, and now, you know, he's in uh, Bound by Debt, which I cast. And it's Paul Mamando right there. Paul and uh, his wife, Anna Mamando, directed yes. it. And I was the casting director for it. We got a lot of great people in it. And Sammy played one of the leads up and Bobby Ciselli was in there. And uh, Sammy has been working so hard and you know he's got great roles coming up and he's, he's just getting bigger and bigger and stronger. So I want to give a shout out to Sammy if you're in, because I know how hard you work, buddy. And you know what? There's so many good things and he just became union. Oh, Gotta say, yay, yay. And what you had mentioned about loyalty, Joe Gowalas, okay, is a director of mine. And what you said before about small projects, I worked on uh, a bunch of his projects and I worked on uh, another film, which was called Around Every Corner. Mm -hmm. And it was a nice budget, it wasn't anything crazy, whatever, and I was casting director for it. So then Joe called me and he says, I got another film, you know, that you want to call The Breaking Point. I did The Breaking Point. Then he calls me and says, I got a bigger film for you, buddy. We're gonna do another movie. And I said, really? 
and then that movie was Bare Knuckle Brawl. Wow. So Chris Victor is our producer, Joe Wallace is our director, and the thing is that we've got your know, Peeper Sorrows, uh, the writer with uh, Joe Wallace, and talk about loyalty. Danny Trail got attached, which I, I got Danny Trail attached on now, and um, so, um, what do you call it? We got uh, Mark Cove in there, Willie DeMeo. I mean, we got a great kid, Michelle Francega. I mean, there's so many good people that are attached, but he's one of the most loyal people that, that I could say. You know, th there's so many good well, that people. That was a very nice shout out you just gave him. <laughs> I love Joe. You must have dropped like 500 names already in this show. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so bad. I love to give everybody props. I mean, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but I love everyone. Um, but you know what, uh, the, the one thing that I was saying uh, before Cheryl about you, your music video, you know, as far as you know, your singing and the dancing and all that stuff or whatever, it's just, you're like a triple threat. Aww. You do everything and now you're doing your web streaming, you got your show, you got your website. I mean, you just get bigger and stronger every day. You know, yeah, yeah. I believe that you have no limit, right? So right. once you reach one milestone, you need to make a new goal. Exactly. And then, and then another one, and another one, and another one. And keep on testing your limits. Mm. If you think you can do something, prove yourself wrong. Right. Um, and it's okay to make mistakes along the way. I've made a lot of mistakes along the way, but I've learned from them, and I've come out better and stronger for it. Right. Um, yeah, and, and I, I feel like I've evolved so much over the years, and that's thanks to all the amazing people I've met along the way like you that have inspired me to grow my career and to network even more and to just get out there and and learn and be you know try all different types of things in the industry from singing dancing acting modeling whatever I could get my hands on to be in front of the camera or even behind the camera um, to go and just you know learn and evolve so I definitely you know believe that when it comes to being an artist right. you should never stop growing absolutely and um we were talking before about I started a production company and I did a bunch of different projects and I just finished my TV series called La Pancho Girl. oh congratulations thank you and that one, BET is going to be looking at, which I'm very excited about. Ooh. So, yeah, I mean... Things, That's big news. Yeah. We've got, um, in fact, uh, my director, Austin, just finished the trailer, and I officially have it. <laughs> but I can't say anything, so I mean, I can't... Oh, too bad we can't preview it on the show right I, now. I wish I could. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still, you know, it's a work in progress. We're still working on it. And uh, Joe Mitchell, said excellent advice. Aw. See, and then... Uh, and Mitchell hey, Jason Damore. We got to say hi to everybody that's tuning in. We can't forget what all the I viewers. I am so Gio bad. Lux, Autumn Marie, Richie Smith, Yvette Fuertes, James, what's going on? Hey, everybody. Eddie, I'm... Eddie Rocky Rivera, what's up? I'm so sorry. Uh, thank I'm... you, Timothy. <laughs> I'm new at this. Thanks, Brian. Ooh. Brian says, with so many accomplishments, what is your next goal? It's a good question. Well, Brian actually was the writer I met last night. I went to uh, Viva Latino, how about that? Ah. So my friend uh, uh, Steve Del Costa owned it, and I saw this movie called Fist of Love. And let me tell you, it was amazing. And Brian's the writer. Oh, okay. And Daryl Denner, I think, was the director, and uh, they had such a great cast and crew, it was unbelievable. But that's how I met Brian, and uh, he's awesome. I'm very inspired by his writing. I actually looked him up on IMDb, he's got some great stuff, and hopefully we'll be working in the future together. And uh, you know, as far as like live streaming, I, like it's so funny because as I'm looking at some of these names, I haven't seen some of these people or heard from these people in a while, I and mean, some people I speak to every day, which is everybody's probably shocked. JT live streaming, wow. That's what's so great about live streaming, you get, you get to connect with so many people yes, simultaneously. I think I'm a fan now. <laughs> but um, you know, like I said, you know, you're you're actually doing so well, and so many things that you've been doing. And uh, what's up? What's next for you, actually? What's next for me is really, I mean, I, I'm reaching the point in my career where I, where I feel like I've learned so much that I really want to share that with aspiring talent entertainers. Right. That's why I created my Tools for Talent company nice. years ago, and that's why I'm taking it now and starting this show so I can really, I want to create a platform okay. where people who've been in the industry for a really long time can, can connect with people firsthand who are just starting out to help them, you know, avoid getting scammed, to help 
help right. put them in the right path, to help put, you know, lead them in the right direction so that they have the best possible chance of succeeding right. and also hopefully succeeding faster. Of because um, the the normal way takes such a long time because it does. you have to do so much networking and so much growing and so much learning that um, that if, if if I would have had something like Tools for Talent when I first started out where I could have talked to big names in the industry right. and had first hands actually be able to chat with them live and right. ask them real questions and get hands on advice like that then maybe I'd be even further along now than I am now, further along now than I am now but um, but the thing is. In this industry, there there are expiration dates, yeah, you know. Um, so, uh, un, un, if we could get this done faster with less right. rejection, yeah, and, and with less heartbreak and less, uh, a lot of people give up so quickly in this industry because right. there's so much competition and there is so much rejection that if I could help people starting out, people who are really talented that just don't know what to do, awesome. if I could really just give them a better shot yeah. and like a happier shot with, with, with faster success right. and easier success, um, then then I feel like I would have done good, you know? Well, you know what? What you're doing now, I mean, if you people could see this setup. <laughs> <laughs> It is pretty crazy, I, right? I've been on so many TV shows. I host a TV show, uh, and um, <laughs> wow, <laughs> this is a setup like this is like right out of the movies. So professional, looks amazing. It's got everything from music to like wi Wi-Fi and, and web streaming and phones and all everything. It's amazing. Yeah. It's hard to tell from this angle, right. but what we're seeing is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine, ten different screens plus, plus a 4K webcam right. and we are multi-streaming to multiple platforms simultaneously right now so we can reach the widest possible audience so that we can connect with as many people as possible from all over the world so we can really um, give, you know, just, just help as many people as possible and yeah. I, that's what I love about live streaming is that it gives you those opportunities Absolutely. to connect with, with, with people one-on-one. Um, -on -one. Um, and so many people all at the same time. So if you guys are tuning in on Twitter Live or YouTube Live or Instagram right. Live or Facebook Live or any of the other platforms that we're live on, thank you for tuning in. Absolutely. Um, make sure you hit that share, follow, like button, comment, chat Absolutely. with us, and make sure that um, that you are turning your notifications for live video on so this way you can get a push notification every time um, we go live in the future. I'll be featuring uh, celebrity guests and industry veterans every week so you don't want to miss who I have coming on the show next. I was so lucky to have JT here today, an industry veteran uh, for over pleasure. 15 years. <laughs> He's been casting films and, and TV shows and major movies check out his imdb i have it here if you guys want to see it real quick he's casted for so many films like films that you guys have heard of um and so the, the networker just came out it's out right now um i i did a movie with steve stanulis uh what do you call it and uh, John Gallagher, I think you know, he uh, directed it. Mm -hmm. It's out right now. Wow, that's so cool. We have a good comment here from Cami. Oh, hey, Cami, how are you? She says, you never take it personally because not everyone fits the part. And, Absolutely. And that's, that's a great piece of advice right there. Yes, and it and is. I'm glad she brought that up because, yep. like I was saying before, her rejection is such a hard thing to deal it is. with. It is. You need to not take it personally and say, okay, they didn't want me. Correct. It's not necessarily that they didn't want you, but maybe you just weren't right for the specific thing that they were casting exactly. for. Maybe they needed a certain look, a right. certain style. So you don't know what it was because you rarely find out what the reason is you weren't casted for a project. But there is something out there for you. And if you go to enough auditions and you meet enough right. people and you put your best foot forward and you um, and you really are doing it for the right reasons, you'll find your way. Well, you know what it is also? The, the one thing that, that I've learned like you were saying about uh, you know different people, yeah. Like, like take Donna McKenna for instance. Oh, that's okay. So Donna McKenna is a casting director. Mm -hmm. You know she you know she's CSA. She got a whole thing. She's amazing. Very dear friend of mine. I've worked with her many times. You're talking about giving people a chance. Donna have gave so many people chances, and she's always there to support everyone, regardless of what's going on. And uh, she's there for that. Mm -hmm. And you know the one thing that I love about Donna. 
she'll give somebody a shot. They don't have to be a celebrity. They don't have to be like, she works with the big names. Mm -hmm. She'll give them a shot. So yeah, there are people that you can go to like, like Donna McKenna, myself, you know, there's, you know, Steve Stanulis, Joe Gowalis. Joe gave a lot of people their starts too. Paul Momondo, Ken Kushner has helped a lot of people out. He's a director I did a American Brawler with and a bunch of other things. But you know, look, there's so many good people that care about people. And, and Cheryl, you, you know, getting back to you for a second, you know, you inspired a lot of people. I know dances that people turned down when you had your company and you took care of them. You made sure they were right. I still remember when a few dancers had issues and you took care of it. You were always are there to help people. You're never there to hurt anyone. You're always there. And that's why you succeeded. When I walked in here to the studio and I saw that we had set it up, I was so happy. <laughs> and it's like you just get bigger and stronger. You're getting more powerful every day because you're a good person and you care and you've got a good heart. I appreciate that. Of course. And I try. Well, you <laughs> succeed. You know, a lot of people think that it's all about competition in this industry no, and stepping on people so that you can get like your, that. you know, chance to shine. You know, yes, people are yes. always climbing to reach the light when it's not so much about climbing on top of people or climbing over people, but it's climbing like, together. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's a team. Like you'll have a better shot Correct. that way. But but no matter what, we could say this till we're blue in the face. Yeah. It's not going to make it go away. Right. That that competition and that you know jealousy that, that is, jealousy whole, is going to be yeah everywhere. yeah. And envy, you know, unfortunately, it's 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 something that will always be there. So you so even though we're all you know talking. Right. Roses, butterflies, it's not going to be that way. There's always going to be somebody oh, that tries to bring you down or right. talk bad about you or, you know, try to oh, yeah. um, make something harder for you. But you know what the funny thing about it is, and this is the one thing I can't stress enough, the people that are the ones that are bad-mouthing or saying things, they're doing worse than the person they're bad-mouthing. Yeah. Which I never understood that. Always, always. This is one, I'm not going to mention a name, but just one particular actor called me up the other day and said, I've had it. I'm done. I'm quitting the business. I said, why? They said, my friend got a part in The Irishman. And I'm like, well, what That's did you, amazing. Yeah, what did you do? I know, like, everyone in The Irishman. And they said, well, you know, I told, like, I cursed him out. I'm like, why did you do that? He goes, well, I should have been in there. I said, well... But didn't he just call this person his friend? Exactly. Wow. I said, well, let me ask you a question. What did you say to him? And he goes, well, I said, you're in the Irishman. I'm not. I have more credits than you. I said, did you ever think of maybe if you just said congratulations, you know, good job, maybe karma would come back and help you, or maybe he would just say, hey, I got a friend. And he goes, I never thought of that way. Yeah. I said, you know what? Why don't you call him back up right now? Tell him, hey, look. And these aren't big actors that I'm talking about. Why don't you call him up and just say, look, I'm sorry. I just got a little upset. It's been a bad week. Mm -hmm. And he goes, oh, you know what, JT? I'll do that for you, but I don't think it's going to help. He now got a pot in the Irish. Wow. See? And this great. Was like, that was great advice, This was way. two weeks ago. Wow. But he didn't get a big role. But He's, still, I bet you right. it was because. Me, is, did that friend have something to do with it? Apparently, that guy had pulled. Wow. So, you know, the thing is that I have no pull in the Irishman. I mean, I've been Bell got a part in there just now. I mean, uh, you got Craig right there. Craig's, uh, everybody say hi to Craig. Hey, Craig, what's up? What's up, buddy? Hey, Lucy Lopez. Hey, Lucy. So, uh, Craig is uh, in the movie that I just told you about with Joe Wallace. Mm -hmm. So, he's in uh, Bare Knuckle Barola, and I think he's in the Irishman as well. Mm -hmm. um, but what I'm saying is, it, it's all about being good people and just, you know, just just congratulate one another and be yeah, friendly. exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, when you did your dancing, you know, your singing and all that stuff, you're gonna meet a lot of people. You're gonna, you know, everyone's gonna have haters. And the thing is, the best thing to do with a hater is just, just ignore it. You don't need it. And don't let anything get you down because success is one of the most important factors. I have the perfect acronym for our haters. Go it's for it. having anger towards everyone reaching success. Wow, I love that. Isn't that the best? <laughs> and that's exactly what it is, right? So when you have a hater, realize, oh shit, I must be doing well, you know? Because it's, it's once you start 
getting up there, yes. that's when the haters come. So having haters isn't always necessarily a bad thing. Oh, exactly. It means you're doing something, right? Yeah, and you know, it, it's just being friendly to everybody. Cami has another question for you. Uh, well, she has another good tip, actually. Your attitude has a lot to do with yes, getting I a agree. part. Yeah, of course. I mean, uh, Cammie, you're on a roll. Being a casting director, producer, I'm sure you know that Absolutely. if uh, the talent that comes in with that right energy and the right vibes, yes. you're much apt to remember and want to work with versus yes. somebody who gives you some nervous, oh, yeah. seated, or any other type of energy, you know? Oh, yeah. You know, Cameo, what it could, is 100% right. Attitude, you know, being professional. And just you know, just being friendly always helps. Yeah. And never question the director. That usually helps. So, <laughs> you know, yeah, that's a good one. Well, yeah. That, I mean, there's always you know different aspects to that, but yeah. yeah, she you know she is right. You know, when it comes to that. So let's um take a minute to say hi to any of the new people that have just tuned in Absolutely. here. Absolutely. King Joey, thank you so much for sending the hundred likes for the, to the stream. What's going on? Hey. And so Daniel, thanks for the likes. Hey Daniel. What's going on? A long time no see. Ah, thanks for tuning in. Hey Shmees, wow! Thanks for all of those fire wow, gifts. You got a you lot sent. of fire gifts. A lot of fire gifts. Thank you so much. For those of you who don't see that, she's getting a she lot says, of fire. How do I be a better sportscaster? Wow. Um, so if sports is your field and entertainment is my field, I'm not really sure too much what I could tell you about sports, but it's definitely just about, right. you know, getting that niche audience yes. and speaking to them, providing them with something that can benefit them. And then, um, and then I, I think that would be my best advice and just sticking to it, you know, um, and using, uh, make sure that you share it to all of your, your social media platforms as well. Thanks for the golden star doll baby. Hey, Ty, Ty Boogie. Hey, Baba, what's going on? Hey, hey Gary. Right. What's going on, guys? Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Um, P Gang says, what an inspirational man. Uh, Aww, thank you so much. Sweet. I appreciate it. God bless. Thanks for all the thumbs up. It's Albert. Nice. Hey. Sorry I'm a little delayed reaction to all this. Black Widow. Hey, how you been? Hey. All right, guys. Christy. Hey, Christy tunes in. Hi, everybody. All right, so to those of you guys that just tuned in, you're watching Tools for Talent Live on TFT TV. I'm your host, Cheryl Martinez, and my feature guest for today is JT John Thomas hey. from JT Talent Enterprises. He's been a casting director and talent manager for over 15 years. He has tons and tons and tons of credits on IMDb casting, tons of major films if you guys wanna check him out. Um, and if you're looking to get into the industry, he's one of the most humble industry veterans I've ever had the pleasure to work with. So oh, if you need you. help or tips or advice, um, he's the man to go to when it comes to that, guys. I, I highly recommend him. Um, he's he, He's been through a lot and he's always come out with a smile on his face and um when you meet people like that those are the type of people you want to keep in your Thank life you. same yeah mm -hmm. and you know we have a request from about <laughs> yeah 20 20 clicks ago whatever mm -hmm. i have my event tonight at van demon mm -hmm. it's max's birthday you up to sing an happy birthday to him? <laughs> Maybe I'll come to the event and sing it to him in person. All right, sorry, Max, nice. <laughs> I tried. But um, but yeah, you're you're right when it comes to that stuff. Yeah. You know, and, but look, I appreciate everything, all the great stuff you're saying, and you know, I mean, it goes right back at you. But this industry can be the most amazing, fulfilling, and exciting thing. What's up, Scott? <laughs> Oh, that's my text. <laughs> <laughs> and Jersey Jerry, yeah, there's a guy hey, right Jersey there. Jerry. Jersey Jerry, yeah, when I got out of the hospital from, from the day, became my producer, picked me up, dropped me off, took care of me. He's done everything he could for me. Aww. So Jersey Jerry's been a true friend and nice. a great guy and a big, big supporter. And he's done many films with me and stuff like that. Wow. But, but you know, what you were saying before about giving breaks and, and stuff like that, what about you? Are you doing any more acting? Yeah, um, I if you go to my IMDb, IMDb page, it's like a tongue twister. You can see all of the um, the acting credits that that awesome. I have. That's I've great. done um, I've done a lot of TV shows. I've done yeah. some short films. I've done some featured work on some majors, and um, and I've done whew, probably over like fifty music videos by now. A mixture of lead roles and featured roles. Well, I have a, a TV show that I'm only the casting associate. And I'm just the associate producer. Just. 
I, I'm just, you know, this and that and that. Well, the, the only reason I'm saying that because it's not my project. I'm just fortunate enough to be part of it, mm -hmm. and it's called the FIBA. See, this is the humbleness that I'm talking about right here, guys. Oh, well, it's not my project. <laughs> but most people go and say, you know, I'm producing no, um, no. a show, blah, blah, blah. But blah. these are two of the most phenomenal people I've ever met, Lorenzo Anderson mm -hmm. and his wife, Sandra Anderson. Mm -hmm. And they're watching, I think, as well. And um, the thing about them is, They've actually helped a lot of people become SEG eligible, uh, including uh, Jamara uh, Edmondson, who's one of my clients. I'm SEG eligible. See, look at that. <laughs> and they're actually but casting. But I'm SEG eligible for like. For, they're years. casting for the next episode. Ooh. Uh, next season, I'm sorry, season three. So we'd love to have you come down. I'd like to try to get you in that. Yeah, that'd be great. It's of a course. SEG project. Yeah. And, um, but they gave a lot of people starts. You know, but. You're, you know, like a lot of the comments that you're looking at, like Ann Mitchell's watching. Hey, Ann Mitchell. Ann Hi. Ann Mitchell's the writer of the TV series that I did up on Sugar Hill. Nice. That uh, she got Ray Robledo, who's our producer for that. But a lot of these people that are so amazing, okay, you know, I've met at different ways and in different places. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, attitude, you know, what Cammy said was a good point. Yeah. You know, bring it up. You and uh, Frank Fernandez, it was up, Frank. And uh, Frank used to be with NBC, and uh, he gave you a great comment. <laughs> Ooh. So, uh, and, and uh, Frank uh, works, you know, sports and does a lot of big stuff. Mm -hmm. But, you know, this business, there's so much and so many different things to do it. Vlad, uh, what do you call it? Hey, Vlad. Vlad Hi, Mike. And Mike. Thanks Ma for tuning in, guys. Mike, uh, Mike and his wife are great people. They're actually in the film that I'm working on. So I know that you have a premiere to go to soon, right? It's almost 9 p.m. Wow. So I just want to make sure that you don't miss your premiere because I know this is a big deal. That's all right. I actually um, have them covering it. So whenever... <laughs> oh, so we're okay? We're going to have to end exactly at 9? We're good. All right. You guys are lucky. All right. So you have, still have a little bit of time left to get your last minute questions in for JT. So if there's anything that you guys want to know about the industry, about how to get into the film industry, um, what casting directors look for, um, those would be the types of questions that JT would be the yes. perfect person to answer. Absolutely. So, um, if anybody has any questions, I'm here. Yeah, and if um, and if uh, if they want to connect with you af after the show, why don't you give them your social media? Accounts? Oh yeah, well look, if anybody wants to connect, you can always email me at JT. Oh well, my email is actually but yeah, JT Talent Enterprises LLC at gmail.com, mm -hmm. and you can also on Facebook message me because I'm already on 5,000 friends. You could basically just look for John Thomas and look for JT Talent Enterprises. Look for my emblem, and I'm actually getting a website built from a friend of mine, so that should be up in the next two weeks. Nice. Yeah. Okay. But, and of course, make sure that you mention Cheryl. <laughs> tools for Talent. That's right. At Tools for Talent is yeah. our handle on all social media platforms. Um, yeah. My personal one is at Cheryl Martinez Music on yes. Instagram and Facebook, and at Cheryl Martinez on YouTube and Twitter. Now, do you need uh, anybody to register for about your site? Um, so if you want to become a featured guest on the show, you just go to toolsfortalent.com slash TV and there's just a quick little form on there that you fill out. It takes two minutes on, so we can follow up with you about, um, about maybe getting you on the show. And future product, future things. And, yeah, it, it, I mean as long as, as you're either an industry veteran, you've worked in the industry for a long time and you have a story to share, you have something that you think could help aspiring entertainers. Right. And when I say aspiring entertainers, it could be aspiring singers, dancers, actors, models, musicians. Just okay. A any any type of field in the entertainment industry, right. if you've been through something and you want to share your story and you have advice or tips or tools, right. then we would love to have you on the show um, and and, uh, and interview you. Oh, it's so, a lot of fun. Yeah. She's awesome. <laughs> so go to toolsfortalent.com slash TV and, um, and we'll be sure to, um, to consider you. But um, all right, so I'd say we're going to wrap in a couple minutes. So I just want to go and um, say again for the people that are just tuning in, you're watching Tools for Talent live on TFT TV. I'm your host, Cheryl Martinez, our fabulous featured guest for today Thank with you, JT, aka John Thomas from JT Talent Enterprises. He's been a casting director and talent manager in the industry, uh, specifically the film industry, right. for over 15 years. Um, you can check out his IMDb page for proof of all of his various credits in major feature films. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and, uh, and he's given us some really great advice today. If, if you guys didn't get to watch the whole stream and you're tuning in towards the end, you can go to youtube.com slash Cheryl Martinez to watch the replay of this entire show and feel free to, you know, tune in to the parts that, um, that would most benefit you. And if you have any follow-up questions, you can contact either of us on social media because we are always here happy to help. That's Absolutely. the whole point of the show. Whatever I can do to help, and definitely <laughs> register for her site. I mean, I went on her site yesterday. It's phenomenal. I'm registering tonight. <laughs> so, what do you have any closing remarks as far as um, you know, uh, any inspiration, motivation, or advice for aspiring um, actors looking to get in the film industry? What would you say are like the top five five things that you could that you could say to them after? Well, you know what I'm going to say. We'll probably get like a lot of those <laughs> people, you know, cluing in, but. The first thing that I would say is be positive. Mm -hmm. Don't let anything be negative. Always say to yourself, you know what? I can do this. Mm -hmm. The second thing which I recommend, make your own stuff. You know, the thing is that you you know, there's YouTube, you know, you can go buy a camera, or whatever, get a couple of friends, make a little project. You never know what kind of quality you can do. Maybe it's not gonna be like a thing, but you can get a do the film festival circuit. You can play around a little, make your own projects, then you become the lead and see where it goes. Yeah. Three, what you should do is submit to casting directors. And when you submit to casting directors, this is what I want to tell you to do. Mm -hmm. When you submit to casting directors, just take your time, small letter, nothing major, and don't be like overzealous, don't go crazy. Just say to yourself, just say hi, my name is, and send some stuff, and don't call them every single day. Let them get back to you. Mm -hmm. If they want you, they will, but if not, there's a million other casting directors. You know, I mean, my fourth thing, get a professional headshot. You don't gotta go to photographer and spend $5,000 or $500 or $100. Go to your friend who has a camera that has more than 10, 10 megs away and just get a regular picture that's eight by 10. Go to Staples if you want, or go to a printing company. I re like Stop and Print, my friend owns. He does great deals. Go there and just get it printed out. There's get your a, well, resume. There's a way. Yeah. You know, you, you gotta start somewhere. Right. You know, we don't come up with excuses. Oh, I can't do it because I don't have money to pay for the photographer. Well, maybe your first headshot isn't going to be, right. you know, a top name photographer, but that doesn't mean you can't start somewhere. Like he said, go to Staples, yeah. get a printed your damn self. Years ago, <laughs> it was very different than the industry right now. The industry now is so different. Mm -hmm. You can just get away with a basic headshot, decent photographer, and you're good. And that's it. You know, you, you don't gotta really go, self support right. a lot of the stuff you do in the industry now. Yeah, exactly. But when you know, you met, like I said before, making your own projects, it's great. Yeah. And the other thing, support everyone. Mm -hmm. Support your friends, support your family, and most importantly, support your actors. If somebody gets a role, don't send them an email or threaten them. Call them up and say, Great job. Send I'm them a text. I'm happy for you. Yeah, look what happened with a friend of mine. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and you'd be surprised how quick, you know, your career goes. And look, if I didn't shout out to anybody that, you know, like a lot of people, I'm new at this because I barely do live streaming, but this is a special occasion bar. I may do it a little bit more. I know Ryan, my event partner, success with I think you're works. so great. You're going to start doing this all the time. <laughs> I may, I may have to, actually. <laughs> but, but, you know, the thing is, that just don't give up. Yeah. You know, the more positive you are, the more powerful you become. Mm -hmm. You know, the thing is that you just, you know, you can get a strong mind and you can make anything happen if you just believe in yourself. And there's so many people out there that probably care and love you and, and want you to be there. Yeah. You know, and like, like Cheryl, for instance, you know, Cheryl put this whole little adventure together and look how successful it is. She's, I mean, I'm watching on the right side of me so many people like, you know, chiming in and sending her messages over and over again. I'm sorry that I can't read and respond to everyone's comments, but every That's time great. we check it, if, if you wrote something, I try to go and, and respond to as many people as possible. And then the, you know, the, one of the last things that I will say, once a day or once every couple of days, send a positive message out on your Facebook instead of about the president, 
or about like you know nasty stuff just basically say something very simple like this guy chris uh you know victor he's a our producer a good friend of us every day there's like or two three times a day maybe five there's a positive message on there really that's why we love chris victor Aww. and and the thing is if more people will like chris victor yeah more people would be successful yeah because all he is is positive mm -hmm. positive positive you know, and that's what it's all about. Yeah. Support your people, support your friends, support people that you care about, even people you don't care about, and you'll see how far you'll go. Yeah. Um, JC, I just have to thank you because all of those tips that you just gave were so spot on. They were so good, so perfect, that um, I know that you've just helped so many people right now. Um, and and I, uh, you had a bunch of comments here that I wanted to just read. Um, Mike says positive affirmations really work. Oh, yeah, Mike is a Tell yourself Mike. you can do it and you can. Jamie says great interview. Thank you. Thank you Mike Jamie. says congratulations. Congratulate everyone. Vlad says great advice as usual. Uh, Tammy says great Love show Vlad. with great advice. Brian says real stuff. Uh, Daniel says good hey luck. Guys. Love positive, positive. Jerry, Jerry. Yeah, so you know, and, and, and we appreciate all the love and feedback oh, yeah. that you guys thank are you giving so us right now. That, that's what it's all about. So thank you again to everyone that's tuned in all across the multiple platforms. Um, again, make sure you hit that share, follow, like button, turn on your live video notifications so yes. you can get notified every time that we're live and we do this show and tell your friends about it. If you have people trying to break into the industry, um, this is where you can come in and ask questions firsthand. So um, thanks so much, guys, for tuning in to Tools for Talent Live on CFT TV. Absolutely. I'm your host, Cheryl Martinez, and my feature guest today is John Thomas from JT Talent Enterprises. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, are you here, kidding honey. me? This I has really been the best. It. You are amazing. And I got to tell you, this is an experience. <laughs> <laughs> I love this experience. And now he's going to his premiere. Nope. And it continues. Actually, I'm going to the after party, which that was uh, Ed. Ed Chiani's like, where are you? <laughs> so, uh, no, Ed, I'm not going to the premiere. I have Craig taking care of that and Alex. So it looks like I'm going over to Van Diemen. The after party, even better. <laughs> even better. All right, guys. Um, is So, again, if you guys want to be part of his magazine, let me put that up one more time. Absolutely. Great. Um, Thank go you. to talent, talentreaders.com slash magazine. Yes. You're going to see me in the next issue. Yeah. Woo! Yep. October. Thanks to JT. October is my birthday month, too. So, we got me in the best possible month issue. And so, I'm excited to be in the yep. magazine. We're going to have a big release party, too, at a red carpet in October, of course. Nice. We're you. Nice. Nice. Um, all right. So... I guess that's it, guys. So if you have any questions, just follow up with us on social media. I am gonna go and um, and turn off all the cameras now. But I'll and um, uh, so tune in next time to Tools for Talent Live on TFT TV. Mwah! Kisses. God bless everyone. Kisses. Bye, everybody. Mwah. God bless. All right, so you can go and hit the end button over there, and I'll end these ones.